when creating a, a front and rear implement uh, on the uh, on the on the tractor terminal for the uh, for the guidance is the tractor will automatically uh, prioritize the uh, the front mounted uh, implement when it's uh, using the uh, the auto steer so what that means is is the uh, the tractor will steer in a way that it will try and keep the uh, keep the front implement uh, on on the way line, and the uh, and the rear implement will just have to uh, will just have to follow. Now that's fine if, say, for instance, I've got a a front mounted mower uh, on there, or well, front and rear mounted mower combination, and therefore I don't want to have any uh, any misses with the uh, when cutting the uh, cutting the grass. But then, if I had a uh, uh, if I had a front press on and a and a combi drill on the on the rear, obviously I don't want the uh, I don't want the, the the drill to be missing. So I want the priority priority to be with the with the rear mounted uh, drill. And the way I can change that is we got this uh, this button up here. So we got the auto button here, and so then is when it's in auto. It's automatically selected the uh, the front mounted uh, implement, but then I can manually uh, shift that then to the uh, to the rear uh, mounted uh, rear mounted implement. So the priority then goes to uh, to that rear uh, implement uh, there. Now, when we are using say a front and rear mower, happy days. Let it do the uh, let it do the auto in there. If we are uh, using a, a front press, I suppose really the argument is is do we need to uh, create the front press uh, in there? Sometimes just simplify it for yourselves. Don't uh, don't include the uh, the front press uh, on in the in, in regard to the guidance screen uh, on there. Is uh, um, just utilise the uh, uh, that it's uh, for the uh, just pick the. Uh, uh, the rear drill uh, on there, and then the auto target will always be set to uh, set to the drill at the on the rear of the tractor.